putting this on YouTube so that uh, people might be able to see. So basically the deck I have created, let's check out magic here, okay. So I call it Roar Damage, okay. Uh, this is my magic star that I've created. These are basically all core and welcoming decks. I'll just let you see it and I'll probably click the link on my Twitter because they have a, a contest right now uh, for Gods and Chain. But then I decided instead of just doing some tweets, I might as well do a video to play my starter deck and then link my video to my Twitter so people could see how this uh, deck is designed. I just want to prove that it's all basically core. Now for my deck, the only uh, the only epic card I have is Aether Vanguard, just because it fits so well with uh, the theme and design of this deck. Another, and that's the only epic card. Everything else is effectively common or uh, rare, I think. But there's no legendary, and there's only like Aether Vanguard for um, the only epic card. And in fact, there's only one welcoming deck, and of course that's the Vanguard Axe Woman, which is still, you know, it's still just too good to me not to put it in. It also helps with um, with the new ward ability. Sometimes instead of roar damage, roar roar um, <clears throat> roar damage can be blocked by ward. So sometimes you'd want to use like one damage just to break the enemy ward, or you could just plop a vanguard and just like directly attack it. So like the Sail Weaver or something like that. Yeah, so Sail Weaver is a 2-2 ward. If they put that down, instead of like wasting roar damage on it, you could just drop the vanguard, maybe put, maybe even shield bear the vanguard to make a 3-3 and smash the uh, Sail Weaver, for example. Uh, so that's why I have that Seer. Of course, Shield Bearer um, and Skeleton Heavy. These are just like your standard cards in almost every deck, which still kind of ticks me off. But the way that the game is designed, you should have these. Uh, you, most of the time, you should have these common cards in your deck. They're core and welcoming, so you know why not? Also, people tend to have. The, what is it? It's uh, well, there's two. There's the Dune one, and then there's the Amazon one. What I mean is, so there's the Amazon one, which is the Hunt, or Hunt Warden for a three four, or else you could get the Dune uh, Calvary, Calvary for also three three four, but it's just not. It's tribeless. It's not Amazon, and that's also a decent early um, baseline stat for uh, the mana cost, either Hunt Warden or Dune Calvary. But instead of uh, either of those, I decided to add a Bronze Servant instead. So it's instead of a 3-4, it's a 2-4. But the key thing is it removes 2 durability from your opponent's Relic. That would be very important for some decks, especially if you were going against a War deck. That is... Yeah, you want to remove the opponent's Relic because it's just annoying as F. <clears throat> so instead of a Attack power of three, it's attack power of two. I think that's a totally fair trade right there. Um, right, uh, so that's why I have a bronze servant instead of like Hunt Warden or Dune Calvary. Now, everything else in my deck from the Athenian Archer to the Ranger First Bow to the uh, Carthaginian, I never really call them these names, so it's actually hard for me to pronounce them. Carthaginian Marine and Veteran Archer. Every, like, most of the uh, cards I have in this deck basically are creatures that um, have a roar ability, which is when they come into play, they have a come into play ability, and all of them are dealing damages to enemy creatures. Not to the enemy god, just to the enemy creatures. Oh, hi, whoever you're um, watching. I'm just trying to create a video about my uh, starter deck. Uh, and oh, Ogre Archer does three damage. And now the thing with the A for Vanguard is that it deals two damage to two enemy creatures. You could select the same enemy creature twice to de uh, deal it uh, four damage. <clears throat> 
Um, and same with the veteran archer. Uh, instead of dealing two damage to two enemy creatures, you deal one damage to uh, two enemy creatures. Same thing, it's like one creature twice. Again, they do not hit the enemy god. So that's the uh, only thing. Um, but most decks you will be fighting against will have creatures. That's just standard. There's very few decks where you will not have uh, creatures. So that's basically the core idea of this deck, which is creatures uh, that have raw ability that deals damage to enemy creatures. Um, <clears throat> that's like the core, uh, core idea behind this deck, basically. Um, so basically, as you play these cards, you are killing and wiping off the enemy board as they're being put down. They don't have Blitz, well, except for your Vanguard Axe Woman. That's like the only creature that uh, has Blitz. And um, what I also what I've also included was <clears throat> Staff of Shards and other things like Star Shard Bolt. And, and Crystal Rain. These are spells that you could uh, throw ahead of time. Oh. These are... Um, sorry, I was just replying to chat. Um, these are uh, spells you could throw that are very useful. For instance, uh, Star Short Bolt deals 4 damage. That kills almost every early, on, uh, early creature. Uh, stuff, Shard Bolt. Staff of Shards, uh, once you put it in, it has you have three turns in which you can deal one damage to any creature and one to the god, or one to the god and another to the god, if, if that's what you want. Staff Shard Bolt and Mage Bolt, which is the god ability you should be using with this deck, is um, it just gives that extra one damage to the target creature that uh, you need to finish off. For instance, if you do a Crystal Rain, and there's one creature that has three life, then you could do, and you might not have enough uh, mana left over, then you could use your Staff of Shard if you have it equipped to just deal that one extra damage to kill off the, the creature. All right, and Crystal Rain is just good, generally speaking. Uh, usually people put Crystal Rain with a spell boost deck because it deals two damage to each enemy creature. With spell boost, it can deal four, three to four to five um, damage to each creature, so. That's really, really good. Uh, one more thing is I added, in case of like really uh, frontline blocks, I've added a Harvest uh, Arcanide, which is three damage that's deadly, and a, again, a Star sh Shard Bolt, four damage. So if they have, for instance, a Bronze Gate, uh, let me just uh, show everyone. Uh, so like this is bronze gate is just really good. Oh, well, they've nerfed it because it used to be four health and now they made it three health. So if someone puts a bronze gate, um, you would want to just star shard bolt it. Or if it's a, or if it's a, what do you call it? If it's a uh, nature deck that you're fighting against and they put down a, ja a jaguar, you might want to star shard bolt it, kind of thing. All right. That's, uh, yeah, okay. So, again, this works perfectly against a Bronze Gate if they put it down, because three health, one armor, you could Starship Bolt it and knock it out of the way. If they have some heavier uh, armor front line in the way, for example, or some creature that you might not want to, like, uh, that you don't know how to deal with, like a big creature, that's where the Arcanine comes into play. So, for example, if they have something like a Guild Enforcer, if you have the Arcanine in play and it doesn't die uh, right away, you could attack with the Harvest um, Arcanide, and it will go, because it ha deals 3 damage, it will go through the 2 armor and deal 1 damage to the Guild Enforcer. Because it is deadly, it will just kill the Guild Enforcer, for example. So anything that has 2 armor that you might have issues hitting um or if it's just you know it's just like a massive creature you could just uh put a harvest arcanite down you're hoping it will not die because if you're doing your job you should be consistently clearing the enemy side enemy board uh 
clearing the enemy's uh, creatures and relic with you know bronze servant and just roar damage. All right, that's basically the explanation of the design of my deck. Yep, and Shield Bearer, everyone knows, it gives its one mana, it gives plus one plus one to a friendly creature. Um, that's just very useful all the time. Okay, um, so I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna play some games, and hopefully I win some. Be kind of sad if I don't. I wonder if I'm mumbling too much or if I'm clear enough here. Huh. I'm actually happy that I still have 37 followers. It's been like a month since I last streamed. Alright, let me see. And of course, this deck is actually not... Eh, it's not so bad, but if you're going against another spell deck, it's not necessarily that good. It's actually decently good against war and nature. Deceptions can be tricky because they you have a lot of hidden, so you might not be able to uh, roar damage them all that much. Okay, so I'm I'm against a uh, you're gonna do Mage Bolt. That's I think that's the best uh, card power uh, for your this Magic deck. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, you're not using that anytime soon for Mulligan. I'm starting early. And um, in this deck, um, I have a lot of two cards. So I have two Skulls and Heavy, two Shield Bear, as you just have seen. So it's good for Mulligan. So when you, I remove a Frost Giant Deadshot, um, I would not get it back. The other Frost Giant Deadshot will not come back. So it helps you Mulligan a bit better when you have that. Um, okay, let me see. Two, two, four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. In this case, I'm just going to... Cast a skeleton heavy down early on. It's a 2 4, so there's not a lot of things. Like, only maybe a canopy throw might kill it, but you know, normally it doesn't do that. Okay, oh, awesome. Uh, but that's nature for the canopy barrage. Um, two, three. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Three, two, three, kill that. Okay. Oh, but that's doesn't two. Oh, I lost my. Benefit. No, you know what? I'm just gonna put another skeleton heavy down and trade that. I get two favor. And another good thing about this deck is that because you should be killing the enemy creatures constantly, you should earn a lot more favors, basically, which help you get useful uh, cards uh, from the sanctum. Yeah, you know, so I just kill an uh, enemy creature without dying. That gives me two favor. If I suicide, if I trade uh, creatures, then I don't think I uh, gain any favors. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is uh, right now it's quite popular among the middle to early uh, players. Is Slayer War? Holy smokes! Yeah, so that was a Viking. Um, okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. I'm so casting that. Okay, okay. So, uh, he attacked, weakened this. No, he attacked. Well, actually, I don't even know what happened. I wasn't looking, but I'm going to cast my Mage Bolt just to deal that one damage. Should I? No, I will not. I'm going to actually cast this because you always want to cast uh, it on enemy creatures. Deal one damage to get rid of the uh, their creature. Okay, and then in this case, just to do one extra damage, I'm gonna and also make this skeleton heavy last a bit longer because they only have a three, uh, two, two, and don't have rage or enrage. So now I have a three, three skeleton heavy just to do instead of doing two damage, it's three. Okay, and when they, whenever you could deal damage to enemy creature with uh roar, you almost always want to do that instead of using spells or god power. Most of the time, that's always how you'll play that. Because you'll want to put your creatures down so that they could hit the enemy guy. Like, you, your board should be full as you're wiping the enemy's uh, side. And then they take a little bit of a time. Because, alright. 
I don't understand why they would have a 2-2 hidden Amazon in a war deck. That doesn't make sense to me. There's so many other cards that are better than that. By the way, I'm playing at... Um, what level am I playing at? Does it show? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, Orc, no, beyond Solar Gold. So the level I'm playing right now is Solar Gold, and my competitor has given up. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so um, four. I could do three, two. But I don't want to. Okay, it is a two, one, one. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'm just gonna trade this. So I don't lose any creatures. Oh, I should have just done that. I was being stupid. Anyways, okay. Um, four. Okay, that's this is me not playing ahead of time. But I should have done this. I should have attacked and then got favors. So I'm gonna do. It does three damage. Okay, now I'll do this. A four for front line. And then with your, um, it says deal damage, it doesn't say deal damage to enemy creature, so you can always directly damage the enemy god or any or any uh, creatures. You can even deal damage to your own uh, creatures if you want, but that's rarely in any case would you do that. Oh wow, okay, well, he quits, that was a very fast game. But you know, like, I'm at solar gold level and uh, this is literally a deck made of just core cards or with only one epic um, card in there so and it's pretty effective basically again roar damage anytime you can kill enemy creatures with roar damage because all my uh, creatures deal roar damage to enemy creatures you cannot deal damage to the enemy god there's only one card in there well there's a few cards actually that uh, does that so, um, let me just, because it just came to my mind. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's like 9 plus, right? So you have things like, oh, you have things like Lay Horde Hatchling. And it when it comes into play, it deals 4 damage. You this card and other cards like this, you could deal damage directly to the enemy god. But most uh, uh, creatures, they only deal damage to enemy creatures when they come into play all right uh, whatever okay so I'll play hopefully I'll play another game that won't end too quickly well you know what I might just reach ethereal diamond with this starter deck okay let me see what else is there uh, yeah no I pretty much explained my deck um, early on so that's uh, is recording? Oh, it's 25 minutes already. I'm also going you know, to probably upload this onto YouTube and see how it works. Hopefully it works. Uh, dude. Okay, so I'll get Mage Bolt just to do the extra one damage. Oh, again, when it deals one damage, if they have armor, it will hit the armor and not... Oh, wow, really? Okay. This, uh, yeah, you don't want two Aether Vanguards. That's literally the... Oh, this is not bad. Damage, yeah. I don't, I'm not gonna risk that my one last charge. This is decent. I go first, but I actually might just do nothing. Yeah, um, this is just me being me. I'm gonna do nothing and save my um, whatever. If you want, you could also cast this, but most of the time, if I just cast my Athenian Archer down right away, they'll just like Vanguard X Woman and out of there anyway, so it's, it does nothing. Basically, right? Okay, it's also a waste in this case, because... Um, no, it's not a waste, okay. I could trade, or I could go like this, deal one damage, right? Because it has regenerate, regen one, on their turn, they're probably just going to directly attack me, and then regenerate that one damage. And since I have enough two and ones, um, I'm not too worried about, you know, not having cards to cast in the future. I'll use my one last, I'll use my only pip mana, extra mana, to uh, kill that card. 
and just to maintain um oh, flip you I should have kept that okay um let me see three hmm. one okay you know what this is totally worth it so uh in because I don't want the ox uh, the wild hog next turn to kill my creatures off although it has has confused so it might just do dumb stuff anyways but I'll just kill it and I will put this guy down he has blitz so I could deal two damage one damage and so next turn I could easily wipe this out basically and uh, that's I've wiped out two of their start oh sh that's annoying as F wow okay this is four this is interesting do I want to? Two, one, two. Yeah, I'll do that. Just because they have a enduring shield, I don't want any creatures. I'll force him to put a creature down and then attack me. So of course I'm just gonna attack and uh, kill this right off the bat. Like I really want to put this staff of shards down early, but in this case I'm just gonna do a first bow, deal one damage uh, to it, and also shoot it for one. Okay, so now I have three creatures on board, and I've wiped out four creatures, right? So I've right now I have like complete board control, and it's like turn four, and they have like two cards, well three cards in hand, I think. Okay, so you could trade with anything else. Probably kill this one right here, so it doesn't die right away, and then you could trade. Okay, I guess that makes sense. And deal. Yeah. So um, usually for Aggro war with Slayer are usually like um, a, like aggro decks. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, they're aggro decks. Hmm. Oh crap! I have a bunch of sixes. Okay, that sucks. <sighs> okay, well, is it worth trading it? Yeah. So I'll shoot that, deal one more damage to kill that off, deal two that my first damage this- oh wow, ah oh, stop quitting on me guys. <laughs>